Water running off farm fields treated with commercial fertilizers and manure contains nitrogen and phosphorus. These nutrients threaten our waterways and our drinking water. Sand County Foundation's Agricultural Incentives Program is providing incentives to farmers in Wisconsin's Milwaukee River watershed to encourage land management practices that keep nutrients on the land and improve the quality of the water we all depend on. This five-year project is conducted in partnership with the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Natural Resources Conservation Service, the U.S. Geological Survey, Fond du Lac County, and farmers in the West Branch of the Milwaukee River. Sand County Foundation's Agricultural Incentives Program is an effort to use a land ethic, good science, and targeted economic incentives to explore and define the relationship of changes in agricultural land management to improvements in water quality. Through its nutrient management projects and through the West Branch project particularly, Sand County Foundation has two objectives. One is the basic objective of knowing more about what's going on in terms of the light relationship between agricultural land management practices and changes in water quality, particularly levels of harmful nutrients like phosphorus and nitrogen. The second objective is to actually improve water quality. Because nature operates on a different clock than man does, that necessarily will take some time. But it's a vitally important objective with implications not only for the people who live in agricultural landscapes and watersheds like this one, but also for the many people who live downstream in urban areas and along Lake Michigan. Everything that goes into the water in the West Branch eventually finds its way to the mouth of the Milwaukee River. Uh, that can include sediment and phosphorus. One of the main things we're trying to do in the West Branch project is identify ways to keep some more of that phosphorus and sediment uh, out of the water before it gets to Milwaukee. The producers in the watershed are our partners. We, we have to work together to accomplish our goals here. I need access to their farms and the ground and also to their records and management schemes so I can understand exactly what the runoff risks are. And then we, we also need to work together to figure out what's the best practice to abate that runoff risk and get it in place. Behind me is an edge of field site on a cash grain operator. These, these sites actually contain a flume that catches water that's coming down a waterway, which is a confluence that collects the water from the hillside. This allows us to actually grab samples of that water and take a look at the chemical constituents that are in it, the nitrogen, the phosphorus, the sediment, so that we can actually analyze what kind of runoff events we're having. In farming now, you're, you're dealing with fertilizer, chemicals, a bunch of things that are going to affect our water quality a lot. I think we need to get more involved in it um, to make sure that uh, the water quality stays good and not, you know, it's important for us to learn what we can do to, to improve things and keep the water quality where it is. For as much monitoring that has been conducted in Wisconsin and even throughout the U.S., we don't fully understand the linkages between what happens at the field edge where a farmer is working and in stream where the fish are swimming and the biota is living. We are providing an incentive that would cover the cost of soil testing, the nutrient management planning, and a little more for their next round of soil testing to get people on board to work with us to try to identify these, these nutrient runoff sites. You can't stop all runoff. It's going to happen. The best you can do is actually try to find the best way to abate what you can. We really don't understand nature as well as we think we should. And like it or not, farming is changing. And society is changing. Farming practices are changing. Urban areas are encroaching into rural areas. Weather is changing. And it's important to have the baseline data that we're collecting now as we move forward into the future. Because we may find out that the, the decisions that we're making now that we think are really great may not be so great. Well, I hope in the end I can learn how to manage my land better. This will give me an idea of, of just how I am running my land. Ultimately, it should be possible for municipalities that are legally responsible under the Clean Water Act for removing uh, phosphorus and nitrogen from uh, their surface water supplies 
to enter into arrangements with farmers to compensate them for the land management practices that they will need to employ to keep phosphorus and nitrogen out of the water in the first place. So the work that we're doing in Wisconsin has great implications not only for the Midwest and Great Lakes basins, but potentially for the entire United States.